Sure. General Police Lieutenant General Guillermo Elazar, the uh, Deputy Chief PNC for Operations, sir. All right. You have heard the testimony of, uh, or the statement of Mr. Lacerda, saying that 14 billion would be uh, suspicious transactions, uh, and there is no underlying business transaction, uh, and he admitted or he asserted that it could um, uh, refer to a range of illegal activities. Um, would would uh, Mr. Rasela, would that illegal activity include, for example, ransom money? No. Uh, kidnapping for ransom is not included in the... Ransom, is that even included? Yes, I'm so, so it can be more than that. Okay. Yeah. We, uh, okay. Now, how many cases, uh, General? Uh, in the, in the, no, we're talking about the amount of money, the, the activity. How, how many uh, cas uh, casino-related kidnappings have you recorded? For the last, say, 2007 up to today. Yes, for the 2019, we have received uh, uh, nine cases of uh, pogo-related kidnapping. How many? Nine cases for 2019 and two cases for this year. So how about 2018? Uh, I don't have the record with me for 2018, sir. Uh, and sorry? Uh, I don't have record. You don't have the figure? For 2018, only for 2019, as of the moment, Nine, uh, nine uh, for 2019 yes, plus sir. two this year. Eleven, and uh, it has uh, 16 victims. Hmm? Where, where <coughs> there were 13, 16 victims on that uh, on those 11 uh, cases, we have arrested 38 suspects sir, and yes. filed nine cases. The uh, uh, risk assessment report of ALMC, of Ate Money Laundering Council, says there is, the, there is an increasing trend on the number of investigations involving domestic internet-based casino operators and service providers. From 2017 to 2019, the recorded casino Kidnapping-related incidents total 63 cases. The alleged kidnapping syndicate preyed on Chinese businessmen who are engaged in online gambling. You know, your figure of 11 cases seem to be a suppressed or seems to be a uh, inaccurate uh, the very least information mr uh, yes your honor this is our these are pogo related kidnapping cases and not yet uh, casino related kidnapping cases and these are records only for 2019 2020 and probably uh, th th that uh, that figure coincide with the record of the pnc if we were going to include earlier years as well as casino related uh, you are talking cases. okay from you confirm this 2017 to 2019, casino kidnapping related incident totaled 63 cases. I don't have the record with me here, sir, but uh, uh, with the increasing number of the reported cases, that could be, that is, uh, that should be corrected. And, uh, but you're saying that out of this figure, in 2019, there were nine Pogo related kidnappings. Yes, yes, sir. Victimizing uh, 13 huh? individuals. Yes, sir. And in, and, and in the first two months of 2020, there were two. Two cases, four cases. And you have no record of what it was in 2018. Uh, in my reference, I don't have, but uh, for sure the PNC has a record, record sir. I'm sorry? Uh, in, in my reference material, I don't have records. For 2018. For 2018 and earlier. Okay, your staff at the back uh, is you showing you some data. Yes. So we will just uh, provide you, you sir, uh, for the records earlier okay. than 20. What is sir. what is established at this point on the basis of the reports is that there are 63 casino kidnapping related incidents from 2017 to 2019, which victimized Chinese businessmen 
engaged in online gaming and from your records you're saying sir that from your own reports there were at least nine in 2019 and two in 2020 kidnappings involved in gaming i would just like to clarify your honor that uh, these are pogo related not stock yes. related these so i believe that based on our experience uh that figure uh is uh could be corrected but since i don't have the, the which figure here, could be corrected the, the one you have the, the one you have said according to the 63 cases that uh, but anyway i'm citing government figures yes sir all yes, right sir. anyway okay other than kidnappings how many homicide cases are suspected to be casino or pogo related homicides or uh, killings so right now i don't have the record but okay i can uh, we can provide uh, your honor uh, your office about this uh, figure uh, for sure there there are based on our recollection there are some other crimes uh, related uh, committed related to uh, casino and pogo kidnapping cases I, I, i'm sorry i didn't yes, get sir, that sir, first I, i'm just asking how many homicide cases are suspected to be uh, casino or pogo operations related? Uh, we read in the papers, may binabaril na mga, yes, uh, na mga people relate or known to be uh, casino people or pogo people. I'm just asking you on the basis of the police records, how many homicide cases? are suspected to be casino or pogo related i don't have that number on my reference material your honor mm -hmm. but uh, we will uh, provide you sir off the top of your head we're binding you what's just give us a rough idea on the basis of what you know you have, you have you have more access to information than we have uh, without without binding you to that uh, uh, number, can you give us an idea of what we are talking about in terms of homicide or murder cases related, which are suspected? I'm not saying they are. Yes, sir. So, uh, well, I, I cannot say for certainty, but uh, uh, for right. sure th th there, there were yes, cases. Yes, I know. There are, uh, how many? 10, 20, 1, 2, 3? Just, just on the basis of your information, and I said we'll not bind you to this. So our directorate will just check a little bit later uh, for the in our record, but I can assume that uh, it is probably on the range of ten cases or ten uh, incidents. Ten cases. Ten, ten incidents, but uh, uh, okay. Since, uh, ten last year. 2019. Not last year, but probably for the past uh, three years, Your Honor. Okay, can you can get a more accurate number? Accurate number, and yes, if sir. you can text right now your people so yes, that I, we will know. Now, how many prostitution dens were raided and was uh, suspected to be casino re or pogo related? Yes, the, the PNP had already launched 10 police operations against prostitution dens involving foreign nationals. Uh, which resulted in the arrest of uh, 60 suspects, 59 of whom are Chinese citizens, while one was a Saudi national. These operations uh, bring brought a total of 199 rescued victims. Of the 199 victims, 173 were Chinese citizens, one of whom was identified as a minor. Other victims include 13 Vietnamese, two Russians, two Mongolians, one Japanese, and eight Filipinos. Is, is, does this number w alarm you, uh, sir? Well, definitely, sir. Uh, since we don't have this kind of uh, operations uh, three years before, but on the past uh, three years or two years, uh, personally being the regional director of NCRPO, uh, I, I personally supervise the operation or raid of establishments involving this kind of uh, illegal activity. From your statement, it would appear that you are convinced that it is because of the presence of the Pogo uh, in the country for the last three years that there was an increase in prostitution dens. 
Is that correct? Y yes, based on the operations. Yes. Because, yes, sir. Yes, based on the operations. Yes, sir. Is that, is, uh, would you agree with that statement? Yes, sir. So what benefit are we talking about Mr. Pangkor? <laughs> if you hear this kind of testimony about prostitution dens increasing for the last three years uh, because of COVO operations, and then you have kidnappings, and then you have uh, m uh, murders, and we say that you know, there are 63 kidnappings related to casino and COVO, and yet you say, we should maintain this because of the 8 billion uh, pesos that we earn out of uh, service fees from from, from Pankor. Uh, really, uh, I, I know I don't want to describe it any further because I might utter words which uh, may not be very appropriate, but certainly disgusting is a very uh, mild term to describe your assessment of your of of, of the Pogo operations. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman.